Y esa doxeada, ¿eh? A ver, a ver. ¿A quién le dices? A quien haya tomado un screenshot ahí. Ah, no escuché. Fui yo, fui yo. Tomo screenshots de todo. Ando doxeando el Juanca. <risa> Diez segundos más. Bueno, aprovecho, ya que estamos hablando así, que para comentar que como mañana es el merch en la noche, eh, hay algunas comunidades eh, más, pues de todas partes que están como haciendo eventos eh, del merch. Nosotros haremos nuestro propio evento aquí en, en Barranquilla, pero que estén pendientes de los eventos que hay en su ciudad para pa que participen también. Ojalá hubiera un evento en mi ciudad. Pues es que tú lo tienes que hacer. Ya sé. Y más en una ciudad tan espantosa, tan calurosa, con gente tan mala. Oye, Chuy, no hables así de Barranquilla. <risa> Ya, ya, ya pronto me tocará visitar Barranquilla, pero dudo mucho que sea un peor lugar que Hermosillo. <risa> no, menos aquí, aquí es chévere, es muy caluroso, pero es chévere. Si quieres, después de la DEFCON, eh, estás invitado a quedarte aquí en, en, en mi casa unos días. Gracias, gracias. Sí, sí, ando, ando haciendo planes todavía, pero a ver qué tal. Hola, Bianca. Bienvenida. Gracias. Ok. Sí, sí, pero sí, pa para terminar ese tema, creo que el único lugar peor que Hermosillo que existe es Obregón. Obregón, Sonora. Está a dos horas. Es el único lugar peor en el que puedo pensar. Va. Eh, vamos a empezar con nuestra llamada de hoy. Vamos a empezarla tentativamente en español. Está bien, no, no, no hay problema, nadie tiene problema con que empezamos tentativamente en español. I don't know if Bianca understands Spanish, but it would be good. <laughs> I understand a little bit. I can't just speak, but I understand you can do it in Spanish, no problem. Okay. I, I remember having a brief conversation in Spanish with Bianca in Denver. Uh, but but we can always we can always try English. Like I, I, I put it together in English anyway, so it's that's fine. Yeah, it's fine, you can do it in Spanish. I was enjoying it. Uh, I understand. Okay. Let, let's try introductions. Let's try introductions in Spanish and see how, how it goes after that. Uh, I'm gonna start with intentions, distractions, and something that has been in my weekly playlist. Um, intentions, just like I'd like to go over uh, The changes that we are implementing at the moment, um, just to see like what the next steps uh, uh, that we're going to be taking in the in the next weeks. Um, distractions. I don't think I have a distraction today, but someone in the hallway was just like working with a drill or something. So sorry if if I have some background noise. Uh, that's my distraction today and something that has been in my weekly playlist. Uh, I've been listening a lot to um, a concert by uh, Chucho Valdez, uh, uh, a Cuban uh, pianist. Um, and, and I love, wh why am I doing this in English? I said I was going to do it in Spanish. Oh my God. Well, that's another distraction. Uh, but yeah, listening to a lot of Chucho Valdez, a uh, Cuban artist. And uh, I'll pass it to, um, let's pass it to Bianca. Thank you. Um, my intentions for today, this is my first uh, comms call. So my intention today is really just to hang out and see um, what's in, in here. It's really cool to be here. Like I'm trying to go to different calls around TC. My distractions. Um, The clean lady came over today, 
So maybe there'll be some noises in the background too. And yeah, I would think there'll be it. I'll pass it to Juan. Thank you, Bianca. Well, I just posted a song from Imagine Dragons that is called Sharks. And it's my jam to surf Web3 web um, chaos. Um, it's, it's interesting because the other day I was talking with Sam and I was like, oh my God, I'm seeing so ma many things happening in, in DAOs. And he, he sent me this song and I haven't been able to take it out of my mind. It's like we are swimming with sharks. And even though that, gi that gives us freedom, that also like um, puts us in a place of vulnerability and um, it's, it's really cool. Um, so you can um, click it and see and w um, hear it later. My intention is to share with you guys two events that we will be having in Gravity on the Twitter. Um, we'll be having two Twitter spaces. And the idea is to um, receive some support from comms to give visibility to these events. Um, I am going to share both of them. One is um, on, on Thursday and Friday that we will be talking about welfare at work in Web3. Very interesting regarding a lot of topics that we all are concerned about, like um, stability and security and um, health care. How do you have health care in, in Web3? project and um, another event on Wednesday that we will be participating in Odyssey DAO talking about uh, what is gravity and conflict management so uh, mostly support for the Thursday and Friday for all of the people here to join to to invite people and on Wednesday um, to to also raise awareness of what we're doing um, distractions um, I just had breakfast and I'm a little bit sleepy and, um, yeah, that's it. I'll pass it to Manu. Um, thanks. Thanks, Juanca. Yeah, for me, uh, my intention is to keep up with the changes that are happening in comms. Uh, no distraction right now. And I've been listening to Boleros. I'll pass it to uh, Miguel. Um, intentions also to uh, to know what what uh, the changes. Lo voy a decir en español porque pues así va a ser. No las intenciones, pues estar al tanto de los cambios que están pasando. <coughs> Distracciones. Están cambiando todos los cables eléctricos de mi casa. Y hay demasiado cochinero y mosquitos. Y estoy escuchando muchos corridos tumbados. Muchos. No sé por qué. Y lo, se lo paso a Alan. Hey, ¿Qué onda? Gracias, Manu. Eh, también lo voy a decir en español. Eh, bueno, distracciones, pues no, creo que ahorita ando enfocadísimo. Eh, no significa que ande tan bien, ¿no? pero todo oh, fine. Eh, intenciones, pues seguir trabajando en la producción de animación del video de Reward System. Eh, es algo que, que pues ya urge. Y pues puedo recomendarles algo de US World, eh, el mejor emo trap que se ha creado y lo pasó creo que Miguel no más falta ya ya fue um, emo trap got me it got me please send please send some music our way <laughs> okay uh, okay so let's start with our um, Agenda. Um, so 
first agenda topic is I, I, I want to say it like very loud and clear goodbye teams like there are no more teams um, we're going to be changing the structure of how we are going to be working with comms I think that um, there were some successful teams as I uh, mentioned last week um, and some teams that still either have to uh, deliver or that um, uh, you know, in the case of translation, which was like uh, mostly a case of mismanagement, um, I don't think we're going to be able to, you know, like present uh, translations as they were meant to be. But um, for the meantime, we don't have any resources to keep this uh, moving on. So we are going to make an effort to, um, you know, like put together the deliveries that uh, translations should have done and see uh, where that where this can take us uh, from here. And, um, uh, but regarding, you know, like the, the goodbye teams, uh, I was wondering if maybe we should have like a farewell party. Um, I was expecting a little bit more of teams contributors here today, but um, uh, maybe since we still have the uh, team contributors uh, uh, tag, Maybe uh, we can set it in, in, in comps to say, hey, when, when can we have this party? So give me a quick second. Uh. Okay, that's good. Uh, hey, what is hero? Welcome. Uh, okay, so uh, let's uh, let's try to talk about when can we have this farewell party. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. It can be just a call. Uh, I think that it's uh, it's important uh, that we have some event like that, uh, especially if we have the ability to give recognition uh, to some of the achievements that these different teams have. So I already tagged uh, team contributors in the communications channel. So please make sure you react to that or you engage in the conversation um, since we want to give like a, a proper uh, closure to uh, this way of working that pretty much um, started in February as an experiment. And, and um, uh, we're going to be changing this uh, way of structuring communication so that we can have uh, uh, just a more more efficiency uh, uh, around our resources, which is like the, which is the first uh, objective, I'd say. And then uh, the second one would be to bring down the number of contributors so that we can have uh, just better coordination within uh, our expected functions. So, uh, any questions about the uh, about the farewell uh, for teams? Okay, okay. so uh, let's move on to uh, some of the team spending affairs. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I don't know who added this, but uh, I'm going to be uh, removing it since uh, there's no longer a Twitter team. Uh, this pretty much falls under, uh, under the functions of the new structure. So uh, I'm going to take that out of, of the agenda. Uh, just for the purpose of saying, like, what needs to be done by teams so that we can deliver. Um, so the animation team uh, still needs to be delivering the animation tutorial. Um, we are very happy to have Miguel here today, which is going to be taking over the project management of, of this so that we can deliver within the next uh, uh, month. Uh, so, and also, uh, it's too sad that we don't have Enti here today because... Um, we can um, we can uh, uh, take over the uh, oh I see I see that you're 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 writing this manual okay perfect um, so we uh, are gonna be uh, so we're gonna be also taking over with NT the project management of uh, the marketing multisig and 
and uh, uh, so that so that NT can do the project management for the uh, translations that still need to be delivered. So uh, I'm gonna be setting up uh, a call on Mondays. Uh, there are gonna be. Uh, I'm sorry, I I I, I forgot to add uh, to add this. Uh, Okay, so I'm I'm gonna come back to this in a, in a little bit, uh, but uh, but yeah, NT is gonna be taking over the part of the project management for translation, so that we can also be delivering this in, within the next month. So uh, as delivery dates, um, uh, well, I'm gonna ask the animation team first because it's uh, uh, the one that has most uh, members here today. Um, but for animation. Would um, would the first week of October be reasonable for delivering a finished cut, like a finished product, and, and uploading it and jump straight to promoting this? I think that is possible, but I, I need to check good with Alan, who is here. I don't know if you can ask also this question. Uh, Alan, do you have anything to, to add regarding the, the, the workload for delivering this on first week of October? Uh, we need to to check to check it with, with laser too. I don't I don't know. Well, I okay. Don't know. Uh, here's the thing, and, and and for the sake of just like moving forward more uh, agile that than we we have done later. If it's down to Acid Laser for him to decide, let's move on. We have a number of animators that could be replacing Acid Laser in the animation team if the workload is too much. Like I've already mentioned this to Acid Laser. Uh, also with the situation about John, uh, to check if, if he's going to be, uh, uh, if he's going to keep contributing. So Acid Laser, from, from what he tells me, uh, John is going to keep contributing. But at this point, if you need Acid Laser to come up with a delivery date, let's, let's move on to plan B and let's replace him in the team because we need to move forward and we cannot be in this situation where we need someone else to keep defining when we are going to be delivering this. So let's say that Acid Laser gets uh, 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 replaced by another animator. When would it be... Uh, when would it be possible for, for the team to deliver the, the final product? Uh, well, taking the health of assets and background, maybe it's possible. Yes, just I need help with that. Okay, no, no worries. I can, uh, I, I can put you in touch with, with the other uh, animator. Uh, let's talk about that. Uh, I mean, we'll most likely finish this call a little bit early. So in between we finish this call and, and the, the stewards call, uh, starts, we can stay talking about this and I can, uh, I can put you in touch like today with another animator so that you can replace them. Um, okay. and, and, and yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm being like a little pushy on this, but we really, really, really got to deliver like it's been a year since we first started talking about this project and we're still like nowhere uh near i mean there has been a lot of progress of course don't get me wrong um but there's still like we're still like nowhere uh close to you know like the final delivered product so um as we move forward if we gotta sync with somebody and if we gotta wait for somebody to make decisions let's make that the reward system working group um because they are the client in the end. So if we're going to be delayed because we need some information from somebody, let that be from the client. If we are waiting for someone else within our team to move forward, let's replace them because we really, really need to deliver this. So is this clear enough so far? In, in uh, our only like pending there would be to get you in touch with, uh, with another team member. Yes, Miguel, Alan. Is this uh, yeah, okay? yeah. Uh, to me, it's also very important, like to to deliver this as soon as possible. So yeah, 
I can stay after the the call just to to talk about the animator, uh, etc. Yeah, sure, me too. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna get a new team member for this. And okay, um, any questions about animation or translations or their respective deliveries? Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, keeping the topic around changes uh, and how comms communications is evolving, um, we're gonna be having key roles for communication score uh, functions. These are gonna be divided in, in very like specific functions that I'm still working on. Um, however, uh, we're gonna have very, very um, uh, key uh, expectations for, for each one of us. And uh, the current contributors that are considered for this structure is uh, me, Asset Laser, Manu, Enti, and Efra. So we're gonna have five uh, core contributor uh, uh, members for, for communications. Uh, and I'm also gonna be working in, in different ideas that I have for diversifying these roles and that, so that we don't get stuck uh, in a role and, and we can have like different kinds of rotation. I don't think that worked that well for the month that I was gone, uh, but still I wanna keep exercising this because I feel that there are a lot of like cultural uh, perceptions that we have from this. It's like, oh, uh, if I want to get things done, I got to do, do them myself. And I, 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 and, and I, I got to do them myself. And I really don't believe in this. I'm not a huge believer in this. I, I, I feel that people should be able to like diversify and, co and, and, and collaborate in different ways. So this is a little bit of, of, of the context that uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm suggesting here. Um, so that, uh, so that we have very, very specific functions and very specific ways of delivering um, and being able to provide proof of this like week after week. Uh, and also uh, like regarding compensations, uh, all of the funds that are left for the teams are gonna be moving to a single multisig uh, and we're gonna be making uh, monthly payments um, through a specific forum uh, or Discord requests, just like um, just like the uh, the rest of the working group uh, teams are are uh, are doing it. Uh, so these changes are going to be effective next week. Uh, so my intention is to have objectives and compensations figured out by then, uh, and posting a, a forum post with the new structure and how we're going to be working and moving forward after this. So. If there are any conversations or any doubts that you feel the need to have before, uh, uh, before we take this on, uh, please reach out to me. Please, uh, uh, let's talk uh, and, and, and let's find ways to like, organize and also optimize the use of, of funds for, uh, for the following several months. Um, okay, any questions about, about these uh, uh, changes? Okay, uh, so moving on to new call times and days, uh, I'm gonna be setting up three major calls for, uh, for communications. The first one is gonna be a marketing sync call. Uh, marketing sync on Mondays. Sorry about that. Uh, marketing sync on Mondays. Then we're gonna have a... Uh, uh, Team deliveries sync on Mondays as well. And then we're gonna have this call on Tuesdays. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna check the uh, I'm gonna check the calendar, but I but I think that community test call is on Mondays. So I'm gonna try to set both of these before uh, the community test call so that we, we don't have any like more overlaps in case people want to want to join these calls. Um, pretty much the marketing sync is gonna consist of uh, 
it's going to be like this information gathering kind of like format. But then like if Acid Laser is handling the Twitter, uh, then Acid Laser will get that information for, for uh, Twitter. And then um, if Manu is handling uh, marketing in the, in the um, uh, you know, like the newsletters and, and stuff like that, uh, then this is where like we are all going to sync information. So it's more of a free kind of like structure. Uh, but then communications is more about the call to action. It's more about uh, what we got to do, what we got to like organize ourselves around the, uh, around, and, and what we got to plan ahead for, for what's coming. So uh, this is the main difference between marketing on Mondays and comms on, uh, on Tuesdays. And then the team delivery sync on Mondays is going to be temporary. It's going to be pretty much just for... You know, like saying, okay, what's like, how's everything doing? How can we check like the latest? Uh, you know, like God, what do you, what do you need from us? Like any kind of facilitation that that you need from uh, from communications to wording specifically, this is where you can find it. Um, so, okay, are there any questions about the new times and days for communications calls? Okay. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Twitter space is set up for tomorrow's GR15 event. Um, okay, uh, let's do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, because I'm I'm not able to do it here, but I'll 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 do it from from my cell phone. So, uh, Manu, I think you added this topic. Uh, what what time is it uh, tomorrow? Let me let me check with Antti. But basically, the um, yeah, the idea is to to understand what needs to happen for whoever is going to whoever has access to Twitter to host that event. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I I can do it right now. I just I just need a time for tomorrow. Yeah. Why do you want to email time? So, so yeah, I mean, I, I if you don't have it ready right now, it's okay. I can look it into. I can look into it later. I'm just gonna need a name of the event and a time. Uh, as soon as you have it, and and also like if if you have a description, I can I I can add it. Uh, I can add it to the event and send you a, a sharing link uh, right away. Okay, so we'll set this as to be posted once we have the information. Uh, and uh, okay, so as a as as a last um, as a last uh, agenda topic today, I wanted to uh, just like point some light at at the importance of uh, gravity processes. Um, at the moment, we have uh, I, I think like a, a number of different gravity processes going around communications. Uh, it's really important to be able to point at exactly what we're working on. And the reason why I wanted to open this is because I feel that, like, as you know, the TEC has been around for a little bit more than a year. And one of the key things, and, and, and if you've been around a TEC for uh, long enough, you probably know that one of the things that uh, we have at the TEC is, is, is the culture, uh, and that the cultural build is actually the base layer of everything else on top. The hatch is nice, the bonding curve is nice, pretty much all of the technology is nice, and it's also nice to support token engineering as a, as a um, public good, of course, but the most important thing that we have is our culture. So, if we have a kind, if we have conflict in the way we make decisions in, in, in the way we uh, move forward in, in communications. Don't be afraid to say no to things or to say no to like specific duties or, or responsibilities, if you will, um, for prioritizing fixing a conflict uh, within the community. And why do I say this? Because it's probably the last thing that you will hear in a traditional job. You know, like if you get a traditional job, you'll probably listen to, I don't care about your troubles, you gotta deliver. And I don't 
think that's the best way to go, especially culturally. And, and I always come back to this. Like, we have the opportunity with Web3 and everything that is going on to build new ways and to build just new um, cultural practices. And if we try to push for things to keep happening around what's expected for us because we care about like the compensation and because it's what we do and, 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 and it's how we contribute, all of that is okay. But just uh, I wanted to set like a, 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 a general open reminder that whenever you feel that there's a difference or any kind of tension, anything, anything, um, feel free to always... Um, Feel free to always, you know, like open up about it. Yeah, uh, Juanca is here. Like he won't deny it. There's always um, room for dealing with conflict and in, in, in gravity. And, and this is something that that um, uh, we really, really need to pay attention to. So now that we are in times of transition and that there are discussions going around about compensation and about things that really matter, uh, Keep in mind that our cultural practices are always like a priority. So don't feel pressured to, you know, like fix some stuff that is like that culturally we perceive as important, right? Like, oh, compensation and this and that, you know, like I, I feel that the most important thing that we have is our culture. If, and if we don't have this and if we don't contribute to keeping care of it, um, the technology is just like a, plan B kind of stuff, you know, like I, I, I feel that the cultural layer is the most important layer in any form of governance and decision making processes. This is pretty much why we see governments fail. We see communities fail. Uh, so I just wanted to openly talk about this and, and you know, like have a, a, an invitation for um, following the gravity process. And in case there are like differences that are tied to the gravity process, this is why we have gravity, right? Because these are like the right hands to um, set this kind of uh, kinds of issues on. So yeah, uh, just wanted to mention this and uh, remember remember to always like preserve like the culture and, and that we're always here to help in, in in a different level, like beyond you know like compensation and you know like having this kind of of of, of idea that this is like a job. I I don't feel that this is a job. I feel that this is like uh, out of natural like in incentives, you know, like for contributing and, and for uh, building public goods. So um, yeah, I wanted to touch on this on this matter and, and, and remind everyone here that uh, doors are always open to solve these kinds of differences. And um, if we don't solve these differences, I would rather like not move forward and and um, and stop and stop how how. Um, and stop as long as possible so that we can have this like out of our way and 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 not keep you know like feeding this this uh habit of of pretending that this is not important because that will take a toll in 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 our in our cultural practices and I feel it's the most valuable thing that we as a community have so uh so yeah i'll I'll, I'll open the stage in case someone wants to like express some ideas or 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 feelings um and and yeah like after after we do this uh uh after we do this i feel that we can wrap this uh, call a little bit early so uh anyone wants to uh add something i will say um if someone feels that uh that me talking about something is uh, creating a conflict. I'd appreciate if that person told me, hey, I'm going to talk to Juanca about it and, and open a gravity case uh, instead of just going ahead and, you know, talking to Juanca behind my back and then just having Juanca message me that someone has. So I'd appreciate, like, you know, personal in-your-face type of thing instead of uh, doing that. So that's what I would say. I have a question. Uh, gravity, it's only like for token engineering or it's also in other DAOs because maybe I need some some of the gravity session. 
Well, um, we also cover other DAOs. <clears throat> yes, for sure. And um, we have already mediated in, in other conflicts, in other DAOs. And yeah, something that, that it's normal, um, it's drama in this kind of environment where everything, um, all coordination, it's, it's like online and everyone is a world. So uh, it's normal. So feel free to 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 talk with me or with Bianca, and um, this is not bad. Like sometimes people think like, "Hey, you're going to the psychologist," and and they say like, "Oh, that can be something bad or something," but that's not. It's just having someone to talk, um, and um, if it's necessary, um, we can facilitate communication with the other person. But um, initially, our first approach always is to encourage people to deal with the situation directly, and we help them with tools to do that. Okay. Maybe I'm going to reach you uh, this day, maybe, or tomorrow. The, the proper way is to fill this type form, so I am going to send um, this, because it's the, the proper way to do it. Okay, thanks. Perfect. Yeah, sorry, sorry about the 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 silence, everyone. Um, um I'm I'm just talking uh, to Asset Laser and he. Oh, so, sorry, Bianca, go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> I just wanted to say that we also promote safe spaces in Gravity and. The last Thursday of each month, we have um, a mental health event to talk about our feelings and emotions. It's an open conversation to talk about our mental health journey. So, if you don't, you're like not alone. So, if you feel that like you need to talk with somebody, um, it's like a safe play, safe space. So. If you wanted to talk, you don't feel like reaching out to anybody specifically, you can also go to that session. I just posted on, on the chat when it's happening. Um, so you can come up and chat with us and reach out to us anytime you need to. Thank you, Chiri. Yeah, thanks, Bianca. Uh, and also just... Uh, uh... Uh, to give a, a little bit more of context in what Manu was uh, mentioning, um, I did reach out uh, to to Juanca as a representative of, of Gravity after I saw that this conflict was present. Um, this was mostly due to me not knowing, uh, first of all, how to handle a situation like Gravity-wise. I did not know if this situation was already an open Gravity case. And if there was like some kind of follow up that was like meant to like follow its course, or if I myself like should you know like uh, submit a, a, a gravity form. So this is pretty much the the the, the reason why I uh, I made this request uh, to Gravity, and and this is mostly due to the fact that. Um, Sometimes talking about um, these kinds of conflicts um, are not, it is best to just like have these conversations under the proper context, which means creating a safe space for talking about this stuff. And I don't think that working group calls are um, uh, the right space for, for these kinds of discussions. And being 100% uh, honest, I saw that uh, these situations kept repeating. Not that they came from a wrong place, like, please, please, please don't get me wrong. Uh, I totally get where these concerns come from. Um, but what I do think that is a little bit more delicate is uh, the safe space that is created for discussing these things. So as I saw that uh, this kept happening, this is why I reached out to Gravity. And in the end, um, like I, I, I feel that maybe opening this topic 
outside this safe space that is provided, uh, I agree that it could be like a mistake. And, and I don't want this to happen. Uh, I don't want like, you know, like, like these, um, these calls or, or, you know, like other community members that are not like associated or, or, or trained in gravity process processes to be able to, you know, like, um, uh, express their, their opinions as part of like this avalanche of, 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 you know, like, like, uh, concerns, uh, outside the safe space. So I just wanted to provide a little bit more of context to, uh, about, um, the intention uh, that I that I had in mind uh, by doing this, um, and I also wanted to openly talk about this today for this call because uh, I feel that there is a lot of importance in um, reminding this to everyone because it can happen to any of us. Like it has happened to me. Uh, like I've I've sometimes like uh, you know like made like some comments or 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 approach a situation in. Um, in uh, the incorrect and, and not the most appropriate ways, um, and and I do like like have to like go through a process of realization about like you know like doing it doing this the right way, and especially uh, putting it in the right hands because if it's not in the right hands, um, there's always a risk of not having the best outcome for all of the parts and the stakeholders in the conflict. So, with that in mind. And in, 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 in heart as well, because um, I'm just going to be like very, very straightforward with you, Manu. I think that you are an incredible contributor and I don't know where we would be without you. Uh, so, you know, like if, if, if there was some kind of like malicious intention or whatever, it could be pretty relative to, you know, like what, how biased are the different stakeholders in the conflict and wh how we want this to change. But I don't want this to change in any other way that is not with everyone in the best outcome possible. Um, so, so this is why I, I'm, I'm trying to be close to gravity, uh, but at the same time, like I'm like not involved, like in, in the process in a more deeper way, because I feel that some conflicts that in, in that tone should be ex exclusively handled by gravity. So uh, sorry if this comes off as, as some kind of like responsibility that I don't want to, uh, face or like encounter this couldn't be like further from the truth I, I have my best interest in this situation so that we can reach the best possible outcome for everyone and that you can you know like uh, have like some kind of like checklist and it's like okay I want this I want this I want this and I want to be able to reach out to a solution where you say like okay so all of my list was like done and at the same time we had the right tools so that everyone involved could have also their checklist and the best possible outcome. So, so yeah, sorry if I like uh, over explained this, but I wanted to be super, super clear. Uh, and also like if, if uh, Juanca or Bianca as, as representatives uh, for, for gravity have any comment on this, uh, they're more than welcome. And, and yeah, I, I don't know if anyone would like to add uh, something else, but, but thanks for, uh, recreating the space for for us to express these ideas yeah sure um something that i want to say is that gravity is not a bad thing so don't don't be shy or don't feel bad if um we are supporting we are just trying to support and um sometimes um an issue that that um can be present in one working group can be present in other working group too so um it's not like we are trying to hide the, the stuff that that is happening in the organization instead of that we're trying to give visibility to it and to actually do something around it and we've been following this process and um, i have also had um, individual conversations with um, the people involved so yes i just want to say that i continue supporting and that I am here also Bianca for any facilitation and the creation of a safe space um, and also that we see some progress on this on this on this issue and that um, also if if there are some things that continue happening please um, continue giving us that information because that's the only way that we can like keep track of everything that is happening and we are happy to, to support 
Um, I I always think that the TC has been very um, grateful and has valued highly um, all of our work and all of the work of the people present. So um, now we are in a phase of compromise and transition and that can be awkward, but that doesn't mean that we should leave someone behind. The idea is to for everyone to feel comfortable where they are at uh, contributing and and um so so yeah only to to remember that um we will be happy to continue facilitating and that anyone that wants to talk with us um we are available and that's our our service yeah i 100% agree with Juan and i just want to say that, like we are ready in the, this topic, so I want to open the mic for Manu too um, to express his feelings, if he feel like it, if he want to do it, if not to, it's okay. Um, but just to like connect with the feelings that we are having right now. Yeah. Um... I have nothing else to say. Chui has explained his uh, point of view, and um, I appreciate that. So there's no animosity on my side. Um, regarding the Twitter Spaces, I have um, I have asked NT, and the time is 3 p.m. Eastern, and I have uh, tagged you, Chui, with uh, under the comps um, channel where there's a photo of the flyer as well. So. If you need anything else, uh, let me know. Okay, yeah, I think, yeah, I was just posting that uh, the space is already scheduled for tomorrow. Like I, 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 I did that yesterday. Um, let me post uh, the sharing link that we're going to be using. Um, wait, where is it? Uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna post it in comms in case someone else wants to share. Uh, feel free to do so. It's already uh, posted, and I'm just gonna be uploading a new uh, reminder to Twitter after this call. So, okay, if if there's uh, nothing else, uh, feel free to um, yeah enjoy your nine minutes of break before the top of the hour. And thanks everybody for coming here today. Have a great week. Thanks, everyone. See you Thank later. you. Thank you. Hey, Shui. Ah, pensé que nos íbamos a quedar. No disculpo, no disculpo. Eh, y ya valió. <laughs>